you know, I used to get dressed up for things. Like I really used to get dressed up. I was a one-timer. You know what a one-timer is? A person who buys an outfit and wears it one time because you got to show up and show out. Now I'm going to make it make sense, but first, hi, this is Marissa with Marissa Moments. Now, the reason why God put this on my heart to share with you is because we're entering a new season, right? We are a come as you are. Now, listen, <laughs> the church will always say come as you are, but then there'll be people in the pews that say, I can't believe she wore that. Son, take that hat off. Why are your pants like that? Don't you care? Do you have an iron at home? All the things. Now I'm saying that because listen, I've experienced it myself, but I'm blessed to enough to have found a, a space that does truly accept me as I am. Now they might raise an eyebrow or something and be like, you real loose with it. But listen, I have that confidence in me because I come as a, as a child of God, right? I am his representation. So as long as he is happy with how I look, then I don't care what anyone else thinks, right? Because sometimes we get also so enveloped and caught up in other people's opinions that it prevents us from walking in his truth. I'm not going to say our truth, his truth, right? Because we are divinely created. And what it took me a long time to recognize is that the things that make me feel comfortable and confident don't necessarily re re reflect, I want to get that out, reflect the status quo. Because society will make you feel a certain way about feeling a certain way. Society will make you feel diminished just by being yourself, right? So listen, I, I am the president and founder of a free community pop-up boutique, right? And when people come in, sure, we have, we have the women's section, the men's section, the children's and infants. But you know what I tell everybody? Look at all the racks. Because we are not limited by the standards of society, right? The reason I put those labels on there is because we're still in a programmed world where most people are acclimated to that, right? They find levels of comfort in that label of the woman, of the men's and all those things. But when it comes down to it, who cares? And for me, when it comes down to the reason I'm talking about what I wear is because I go into meetings this way. I had a meeting yesterday on Zoom and I wore a snow white t-shirt where she was biting an apple. It's a really cool graphic t-shirt. Now, am I saying that this is always who I'm going to be, that I'm never going to wear a business suit? No, I'm not saying that because as I grow, as I evolve, I give myself space to grow and evolve as he deems fit, not as society deems fit. So people may talk about you, they might raise an eyebrow, they may question, but we are a come in a come as you are season. So that way we can be authentic in our gifts and who we are and in our manifestations in our everything. But if you continue to wear a mask, if you continue to put on that facade in front of being someone or something that you're not, then you're always going to feel unfulfilled because you can't even be yourself. You're always going to attract the wrong people because you have never been your authentic self. You're always going to feel shunned and you're always going to feel like you have to shrink yourself because you are not being your authentic self. So at the end of the day, Let's catch up to the season. Let's be our authentic selves. And with the understanding that that will bring rejection. Oh, yes, it will. It will bring opposition. It will bring rejection. It will bring scorn, right? But why do you care? The feeling of happiness and being your authentic self and knowing that you're walking in agreement with the most high should out <laughs> over. But supersede, there we go. Thank you, Spirit. Supersede anything else that anyone else has to say. Now, listen, with that said, don't get fired from your job because I ain't got no check to send you. <laughs> so do what you can when you can. Don't forget to take your common sense with you. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Apples and tomatoes, all the things. And uh, bye. <laughs>